the Clarkston Area Optimus Club welcomes you to the sunny side. Hosts for the sunny side are Deborah Berry and Alan Partington. This episode of The Sunny Side is all about the upcoming Optimist International Oratorical Contest in Clarkston. It's the oldest event sponsored by Optimist International, with participation from nearly 2,000 clubs across the U.S. and the world. Deborah is here and ready to tell us all about it. Deborah, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, and thank you for asking me to stop by and, and give our viewing audience a little more information about the oratorical contest. It is indeed the oldest contest of Optimist International. Uh, it was developed in 1928 and reaches, as we said, all across the world. And every single year we have hundreds and hundreds of students that prepare for this oratorical. Every single year Optimist International determines probably about eight months prior to the contest time what the topic will be for that particular year. And what I have discovered is generally the oratorical contest topic will include the word optimism. Imagine that. And uh, who doesn't need optimism in today's world? So how wonderful for our young people that they can think about what optimism means to them. Uh, for this particular year of 2022-23, the topic is Discovering the Optimism Within Me and realizing that uh, young people uh, should be just genuinely, innately optimistic about their future or whatever's going on in their life at that time. It seems like an easy topic for them to think about and to develop and research and write about and eventually uh, put into speech format and memorize. This contest is open to any student uh, within the proximity of an Optimus Club. They do have to work through an Optimus Club in order to apply for and qualify for the contest. Uh, we invite homeschooling students to participate in this through their Optimus Club. The student that is applying cannot be older than 19 years of age as of October of the year that the contest is running. We have seen through the years younger people, younger students, uh, get involved with the oratorical contest and maybe they didn't take first, second or third place, but they've always been encouraged to do it again, try it again. There'll be a different topic next year and give it another shot. And some of those students have been in the oratorical contest at least more than once before they got their confidence up, before they got their skills up, before they got better at writing their speeches and memorizing their speeches. There are different parts of their presentation that get scored on. So once they meet the... Um, general rules, you know, the qualification rules, then they have to continue to um, work with their Optimus Club if they have questions about, does is this sound right? Uh, should I do this? Should I do that? I am the chairperson this year for the Clarkson Area Optimus Oratorical Contest, and um, I am accessible at my phone number. You can call me anytime parents or students, and I will help guide you through the process. So beyond that, there are contest rules. And obviously, you know, there's things that have to happen during that speech. And those things that have to happen, such as poise, such as enunciation, such as identifying your resources, such as proper grammar, all of those things play a part in a judge's perception of how you have met the qualifications highest score. The judges are selected by the committee and they are not Optimus Club members. They cannot be a member of an Optimus Club. They are actually located 
in the audience where the contest takes place and really nobody knows who they are except for the chairperson. And they will convene after all the contestants have given their speeches and they have a, a specific scorecard that they use during the contestant speech to notate different things and uh, ending up with hopefully a really nice score for that contestant. The other thing that's kind of cool about the whole process is after the contest is over, uh, the judges will make very positive comments, optimistic and positive comments about each contestant. It's a really good way for some of our young people to get over the, the thing about public speaking. And, and, and you'd be amazed, some of these contestants are really, really good once they get up in front of the camera or in front of the audience and, and give their speeches. They, they got it together and they know what they're doing. The really cool part about that is if they've done it before in other contests, the younger students, the younger youth that are also in the contest, or even a, a young person in the audience, they're inspired by what they see and hear. And uh, it's, it ends up being a, a real learning curve for some students, as well as a great opportunity uh, for a young person to express themselves. That's what this whole contest is about. We want to take this topic of discovering optimism in me, and we want to really feel through the presentation how that student feels about that subject. Why is it meaningful to them? And what part of you know, their life that they're expressing are you getting? Are you getting what they really mean? So the, the contents itself, it's very exciting for the participant as well as for the, uh, the audience. And I really, uh, I think that if you're at all interested, you should look up our resources that we've had posted on this show and see if there's a young person in your family or in your community, in your church, in your school population that you think would benefit from considering writing about this particular subject matter and preparing for this contest. There are awards that come along with this contest. There is a monetary award at the club level. There is an award, certificate award at the regional level. And there is uh, a contest after that even at the district level, which is the state of Michigan. From that point on, we will have a district winner, a district oratorical winner. They will go on to a national regional level. Those winners from the regions all across the United States, Caribbean, and Canada will go on to the national oratorical contest. We encourage our youth in our school district and our community to consider doing this because it's a great experience. It's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a wonderful service project that the Clarkston Area Optimist Club enjoys doing for our community and for our schools and our parents. So I thank you for your time.